Hey guys, it's Sapphire. Welcome back to my channel. I know I cut my hair off again. If you guys have me on Instagram, you guys know that I did a big chop actually uh like last year, I believe it was. New natural look, let it breathe without the bleaching and the dyeing because I did have my hair purple before. I did let it grow out. That's why you guys always saw me with my curly hair, my little afros and stuff. For this tutorial, I decided to actually show you guys how I do my eyebrows and apply my false lashes. Quick and easy for you guys to pick up and also for the beginners. And hopefully you guys will learn something from my routine or just enjoy watching it because it's my routine. So if you guys want to learn how to apply your eyebrows using brow pomade and brow powder and also applying your false lashes, please keep watching. Okay, so this video is going to be real quick and easy. It's just going to be how I do my eyebrows and how I apply all my false eyelashes. So I go in using my NYX angled brush. I like this brush a lot because the angle brush is actually very thin so it could give you that sharp edge that you would want for your eyebrows. Then I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills J Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I use my spoolie and I just brush up all my brow hairs. To start off with the arch area, so I just start doing small strokes and I start sketching out where I want my brow to be and leave it like that. And then I brush down my hairs so that I can outline the top area. So again, I start right where my arch is at. And then I connect it to the tail that I had at the bottom. Then I go in with some more product and I just fill in the empty spaces. Don't worry about your eyebrow, you know, application being super perfect. That's what concealer comes in for. So you can clean everything up. Go in a little by little. Going to the beginning of the brow. Just like that. And then I go back with my spoolie and then I brush up the product just to fill it in. Nice and evenly. And of course, your eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins. So it's not ever going to match the way you want it to match. So again, we're going to go on this side and start at where the arch is at. And the tail like that. Brush down these hairs and connect it. Fucked up. And then you connect it and then you fill in the empty spots. The only problem with my eyebrows is this one is like more of a fair. Like it's kind of lighter in the inner corner. So sometimes I will just leave it like that or I'll just make little flicks of hairs. So it can match my other brow. Then I brush that up. Then brush everything into place just like that. Sometimes I would like to just leave my eyebrows with the pomade. Then I like to go in with the same brush. I like to wipe it off, clean off any excessness that I may have on it. I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder. And I'm taking the lighter shade for my inner, for the beginning of my brow. Fill in on the um, beginning of my brow with powder. That's it. I don't really fill in the, the tips of... I don't really fill in the rest of my brows like that. Unless I'm feeling dramatic. To clean up my eyebrows, I like to use these two products. I use a lighter one and then I use a more so going towards my skin color shade. So I'm going to squeeze some product out on the palm of my hand. I'm going to go in with a flat eyeshadow brush and take some product and just start at the arch of my brow.
And then I'm going to go in with the darker concealer to clean up the beginning of my brow. And then using the same um, darker concealer shade, I'm going to clean up the top of my brows. Just very little. It's not all the time that I do it, but this time I kind of need to do it because I messed up on this one. Then I use the warmth of my finger to just blend everything out. Um, whatever's left on my conceal on my concealer brush, if it's like too dark at the beginning of my eyebrows, I just simply like dust off a little bit of concealer on this just to lighten it a bit and give that natural look. Now we're gonna move on to applying falsies. Yay! So the eyelashes that we're gonna be using today is this the luxury mink lashes. So now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite eyelash glues. Now that we've applied the glue, I like to let it dry and let it get tacky. You want it to get really tacky so it could just, you know, stick right on. What I usually recommend if you're a beginner is to buy the clear lash glue. But all, you don't have to worry about trying to hide like the, um, the lash glue. The Maybelline Lash Sensual Mascara. And I'm going to apply a pretty nice layer. All you need is one layer really. Um, on my lashes so after you apply your mascara I also forgot to leave out that after I do my makeup and put my powder and set my face I like to go in with a little bit of mascara and just apply it on my eyebrows to act as a brow gel and just to keep them in place and it also takes off you know that powdery look from your brows is an eyelash applicator. I got it from BH Cosmetics, very affordable. I think I spent like what three, four dollars. And I like to grip it, grip, pinch the lash like right in the middle because you're gonna place it right in the middle. Like it just sits it right on your eyelash. You get a mirror and you wanna look down into the mirror where you can see your eyelid at and you can see your eyelash. Above my eyelash right right in the middle and then I take the outer corner of the lash and bring it to the end of where my eyelid is at of my um upper eyelash is at right and then I pull in the inner corner And place it right where I want it. You guys see that? And then what I like to do is I'll push down the lash a little bit. I take the tip of it and I press it on to my eyelid. And then, of course, like me, I'm used to using my fingers. So I go in with my fingernail and I pinch my real lash and the false lash together. Also, you could just like push in the lash and pinch at the same time to secure it. Or you could get the same the same eyelash applicator and use it to pinch your lashes and push at the same time. At the end of your tweezers and carry the corner of the eyelash to your outer corner of your eyelid and you want them to match like match the length of your lids and then you want to place your inner corner then you want to place your eyelash the inner eyelash to your inner corner and sometimes I like to take like this metal tip and just scrape off any excess glue 
that we have around like the ends of the lashes another thing that i left out you want to make sure you measure your eyelashes i didn't really have to measure these because i already wore them already but you have to make sure you measure them and like do the same method you place it you place it first and then you see where the end ends at if it's like overlapping over here you know you have to cut it how i double check if it's secure or not i like to i push down and look in the mirror to make sure nothing is lifting and if nothing lifting i push it right back up and give it that flirtatious look all over again to go with a black eyeliner and i would just you know the same way how you will fill in the waterline with an eyeliner i would fill it up front like roll my eyes back and then I start filling it up so it could hide all that skin. And we are finally done with my eyebrow and my eyelash tutorial. Thank you guys for tuning in to my channel again and watching my videos. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support and comment down below any upcoming videos you would like to see. Thank you for coming back to my channel and thanks for watching.